Senator Alpoff resides in Montville Township with his wife, Nicole, and their three children. Please join me in welcoming President of the Ohio Senate, Senator Larry Alpoff. President Diab, members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished guests, faculty, parents, and other family members, and most importantly, to the graduating class of 2017. It is an honor to join you here today and address you on this memorable occasion. On behalf of the members of the Ohio General Assembly, I extend our congratulations to you on your incredible achievement. You've all worked hard to be here today, and a lot of people have played a role in that success. Your parents, maybe your grandparents or siblings, other family members, and people in your community who have helped you along the way. We all have somebody who gave us that extra nudge just when we needed it most. So whether it was a third grade reading teacher who helped build the foundation for future learning, or a high school guidance counselor who gave you sound advice, or a poet who inspired you to follow your dreams, or a local business owner who stood out as a role model. Every one of you has someone special. Some people have a dozen special people, maybe even dozens more, who pushed you to work harder, explore new subjects, and put in the efforts necessary for you to make it here today. As someone who's taught as an adjunct professor, I want to say not just congratulations, but on behalf of your teachers and your professors, thank you. By making it here today, you've honored all of those people who've pushed you along the way. You've ensured that their time and their efforts were well spent. And I want to thank North Central State College for providing the opportunity for a great education to so many of Ohio's young people. North Central State is a key part of Ohio's educational system, and it has prepared people from all walks of life for the next step in their careers. We have roughly 250 graduates here today, sons, daughters, brothers, mothers, sisters, fathers, friends, co-workers. Some of you here today are graduating as part of the College Now program and have earned a high school diploma and an associate degree together. Many of you have taken the traditional path and enrolled directly after graduating high school. Still others came to North Central State to return to college, to update your skills, or to train for a second career. No matter who you are, or which path led you here today, you all have a few things in common. A desire to better yourself, and the work ethic that made that happen. Since I'm the last thing standing between you and your diplomas, I'll get to the point. While today is the culmination of years of effort, this isn't just the end of a long journey. It's the beginning of a new one. And as you heard Dr. Diab reference already, that's why we call this ceremony a commencement rather than a conclusion, because you're beginning an important new chapter in your lives. Hopefully, everyone's sitting here today with big dreams and lofty goals, and with the belief, no, with the knowledge that if you work hard enough, you can change the world. And I know because my story isn't much different than any of yours. I grew up in the northeastern corner of the state in Ashtabula County along with my five brothers. For more than four decades, my father worked full-time as an engineer with the Ohio Department of Transportation, but worked a full-time second shift at our family's farm. My mother took a hiatus from teaching math to raise the six of us, and she returned to the classroom once a few of us had moved on to college. But for many of the years in between, my parents raised six children on one income. We didn't have a lot but we understood the value of hard work. I worked a series of jobs over the years to help pay the bills. These included baling hay for various farmers, uh, including uh, on our own family farm, mowing roadsides for the county engineer's office, scolding go-kart drivers at Geneva on the Lake when they bumped their cars into each other, working as a project assistant at a law firm, and even serving as a page in the state senate where I'm now president. And when I went to college, I was fortunate enough to have some scholarships, but my wife and I worked to pay the remaining costs. And now I'm lucky enough to say that my, through my family, the good Lord, and a lot of hard work, 
That combination has given me the opportunities that I could have only dreamed of growing up. That's why I believe in Ohio. That's why I believe in North Central State. And that's why I believe in all of you. It's why my colleagues and I work every day to make sure that Ohio has a strong future for you, for my children, and for yours as well. And I see a lot of kids out here today, so um, if you can, um, any of you who are children of uh, people who are graduating, if your mom or dad is graduating today, please stand up and let's give them a hand. To the graduates, today you're taking a big step toward ensuring that better future for you, for our families, and for our community. In the Ohio Senate, we're focused on growing jobs and the economy in our state and keeping people like you right here in Ohio to help make that happen. In order for our state to be successful, we need a well-educated workforce, but we need much more than that. We need people with initiative and creativity. We need the business leaders of tomorrow, and I see many of them here today. We need people who want to build things. We need people who love the arts. We need people who write novels and poetry. We need nurses. We need people who are interested in politics. We need people who want to become high school football coaches. And we need the teachers who will help all of us other people achieve those goals. And when you look out at this class, this graduating group, you have it all. From business administration and accounting, to criminal justice, to engineering technology, to physical and occupational therapy, you graduates here today cover a wide range of majors, personal interests, and future career paths. So for all of you graduates, I expect you to be a big part of the future of the state of Ohio. Some of you have plans to continue your studies. Some will go straight to the workforce. Some might take more time to decide how you want to spend the next few years, or perhaps the next few decades of your lives. Perhaps you'll become a business leader who keeps Ohio's economy moving forward. Perhaps you'll work for a nonprofit or maybe even start your own to help our local community. Maybe you'll invest the time, money, and sweat necessary to run a small business as most of Ohio's employers have done. And of course, to any future educators who are here today, thank you for taking on the critical job of being one of the people who helps shape the minds of the future. Whatever career path you choose, always be true to your th yourself. And whether you go on to further studies or your formal education is ending today, always remember that learning is a lifelong process. We all take different paths, but just as I learned growing up, and as I'm sure most of you know as well, hard work and determination will create opportunities. And most importantly, live with integrity. Whatever path you choose, I can guarantee you that there will be twists and turns along the way. That's just how life is. But by staying true to your foundations and principles, you will keep yourself on the right course. So tonight, I'm going to make a two-part challenge to all the graduates here today. The first part of that is summed up by Albert Einstein, who once said, I have no special talents, I am only passionately curious. That was very modest of him, of course. Uh, he had quite a few talents, but the principle rings true. As I said earlier, learning is a lifelong process, and today marks the beginning of a new chapter in all your lives. So my challenge to you is to be curious, expand your horizons, and don't do it because you have to, but because you're following your own interests. And second, Mark Twain reportedly said, to keep away from the people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great people make you feel like you too can become great. And Twain was absolutely right. Follow your dreams, do what you are passionate about, and don't let others box you in. That is my challenge to you. And along the way, don't be afraid of failure. If Thomas Edison gave up after his first attempt at the light bulb, we might all be sitting in the dark right now. The progress of history is marked by people who tried and failed, but picked themselves up and tried again, and again, and again, and who would never give up. Finally, 
I ask that everyone find a worthy cause that is greater than yourself. Make a difference at home, in your local community, across the state of Ohio. Whatever it is, give back in some way. Honor all those people who helped you along the way by doing the same for somebody else. Never forget the people who invested in you, but focus instead on investing in others. And for all the people that helped get you here, go out and do them proud. Congratulations to all of you, the class of 2017, and congratulations to all the family and friends who supported you in your path to this momentous achievement. Thank you again for inviting me to share in this special moment in your life. May God bless you in all your future endeavors, and may you make North Central State College and all of Ohio proud with what you do. Thank you, President Abhav. I would like to read to you a resolution by our Board of Trustees. Whereas, upon the recommendation of the President, with the approval of the Board of Trustees, the honorary degree of Associate of Applied Science or Applied Business will be awarded to those outstanding individuals who have distinguished themselves within the community as well as with North Central State College. And whereas, honorary degrees are typically awarded to a living individual who has achieved extraordinary distinction in a career that has affected the lives of others, particularly through scholarly achievement, through public service, or through philanthropy, and whereas Larry Abhav has displayed the level of exemplary achievement deemed worthy of the singular recognition conveyed by the conferral of an honorary degree from North Central State College, now therefore be it resolved that the North Central State College Board of Trustees takes pleasure in conferring upon Larry Abhoff, Jr., the honorary degree of Associate of Applied Business, Honoris Causa, as part of the May 12, 2017, North Central State College commencement ceremony in accordance with the policy adopted under Resolution 1978-08 for honorary degrees. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our Student Scholar of the Year. North Central State College is a member of the American Association of Community Colleges known as AACC. It is the largest and most prestigious organization of two-year colleges in the United States. As a member of that group, the college was eligible to nominate students for consideration in all the, in the All USA Academic Team Competition for 2017 co-sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society of Two-Year Colleges, and USA Today newspaper. The purpose of this award is to recognize scholarly achievement of students enrolled in community, technical, and junior colleges. I'm delighted to announce that Keturah Kutch was selected as North Central State College 2017 Student Scholar of the Year. Katura, please come forward and join me on the stage. Few, wo few words about Katura. She's from the Mansfield area and is a homeschooled high school senior who will be graduating in the coming weeks from Shelby High School. She graduates today with her associate degree from College Now Business with a business administration focus and a GPA of 3.78. She is a member of the Beta Theta Eta chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, some Greek in the, in the script here, and served as their Vice President of Communication in 2016. She is active in the 4-H club, where she serves as Vice President of her local club, is a junior fair board member, junior leader, and show announcer. She, was rece she has received many 4-H awards, including Outstanding Exhibitor, Outstanding Junior Fair Board Member, the I Dare You Leadership Award, Outstanding Member Award, and has won three public speaking contests at the state level. Katura is a 4-H Cartoons instructor working with juvenile traffic offenders, is a certified lifeguard and swim instructor, 
is an active member of the Westwood Alliance Church in Ontario and volunteers her time to private tutor younger children. Following graduation, Katura plans to continue her education at Cedarville University in pursuit of her goal of a career in nursing and is interested in joining their Air Force ROTC program. As Student Scholar of the Year, she was nominated for the All Ohio Academic Team. This April, I was fortunate to get to spend time with Katura and her family at a couple of events, one of which was a luncheon that was held at the State House in Columbus to honor the All Ohio Academic Award winners. In addition to her recognition as a member of the All Ohio Academic Team, she also received a proclamation of achievement from the Ohio House of Representatives presented by Representative Mark Romanchuk. I'm greatly impressed by all of Katura's achievement and future aspirations. It has been an honor to know and work with her. It is with great pleasure that I present to you again Ms. Katura Crouch, the 2017-2017 Student Scholar of the Year. At this time, I would like to recognize some special groups of our students. Phi Theta Kappa is the International Honor Society for the two-year colleges. Its driving purpose is to recognize and encourage scholarship among two-year college students by providing opportunities for the development of leadership and service, for intellectual climate, for exchange of ideas and ideals, for lively fellowship among scholars, and for stimulation of interest in continuing academic excellence. Our Beta, Theta, Eta chapter takes pride in carrying out these aims, and our members exemplify those qualities of scholarship, leadership, and character. Along with their chapter,